Hi everyone, Simon Keeling here, weatherweb.net. It's Thursday the 20th of March. Thanks again for watching. Now today is the 150th anniversary of the death of Luke Howard, who's uh, known as the father of clouds. He's the guy who came up with the classifications, the names that we use for clouds now. So things like cirrus, alticumulus, cumulus, stratus, that's his fault. Um, he was the one who came up with and classified the clouds into high, medium and low categories and then came up with um, a, a series of names to put those clouds within. And some of his spectacular drawings um, are on this slide here at the right hand side and uh, he came up with, um, with the book The Modification of Clouds uh, which describes cloud types and how they can be classified. Now, Tomorrow, I'm actually taking part in a Twitter chat. I'm the resident expert on clouds um, in a Twitter chat, track, which has been uh, organised uh, by a group of artists and also the Royal Met Society. And taking part in that as well will be uh, Gavin from the um, Cloud Appreciation Society too. So uh, what we want you to do is to send in your cloud questions, send in cloud photographs, and uh, we're going to try and identify them and we'll chat uh, about those clouds. It's going to take place between midday and 2pm on Friday the 21st of March. So what you need to do on Twitter is follow the hashtag cloud ID and uh, all the questions will be coming through on there. Uh, and of course you can follow us on Twitter at any time at WXWeb. So sounds like it'll be a great event. Actually it's the first time I've done a Twitter chat like this so uh, I'm looking forward to seeing how it works. So follow the hashtag uh, cloud ID and uh, we'll have some fun tomorrow between, well Friday, between uh, midday and two o'clock. And God bless Luke Howard. Fantastic guy with brilliant names. And if you ever get a chance, there is a book uh, written uh, about Luke Howard and it's called The Man Who Invented Clouds. And it's a great book. If you get a chance, read it. It's really well written. It's very readable. It's a real page turner. And it tells you his life story and how he came up with the name of the clouds. Really interesting stuff. Anyway, back to the weather of today. And um, got a cold front at the moment that's out over the uh, west of the country. That's going to be moving its way gradually eastwards during the course of the afternoon and into this evening. Some pretty hefty bursts of rain, but it is going to tend to fade away as it comes eastwards. And there is that front look dragging its way southeastwards during the course of today, but that clears eastwards and then Friday and Saturday fairly showery days with low pressure uh, up towards the north of Scotland. Troughs rotating around bringing some heavy showers and cooler conditions too. Now for Sunday, ridge of high pressure just building across Ireland. That's still um, not going to be quite in place enough to prevent there being some showers down more eastern areas during Sunday. And there might be some showers for western Scotland and the north and the west of Ireland. But they'll tend to fade away from the west as the day progresses. And uh, then what I think we'll find is the ridge just building in and that will make things a little bit cooler and drier as well. So there'll be some sunny spells around during Sunday. That looks certainly to be the better of the days of the weekend for most. Although I think down those eastern coasts are feeling pretty raw. Frosty overnight into Monday with uh, clearer skies. Um, it may actually be quite a while before the showers cleared away from the far southeast of England. And just the latest model runs hinting that the showers could linger across East Anglia in the far southeast right the way through until the end of the night on Sunday. But then hopefully Monday should be dry. Uh, high pressure building in and I think much of Monday really is going to be dry and if there are any showers left in the southeast they'll fade away. This front coming into the west though big uncertainty over this timing and speed of that. You'll know that's a change from the forecast of yesterday. I was telling you that I thought Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday would be dry but now the models are trying to do something a little bit different. They're trying to bring this front eastwards during the course of Tuesday now and are now trying to produce some outbreaks of rain running through Scotland, through central parts of the country and southern parts of England, with a further area of rain just slipping into uh, southwest England and then into northern parts of France through Tuesday. Again, big question mark. Just not sure on the detail of this at the moment. Uh, I think you need to stay tuned. I think what I can say is Monday's dry for most of us. I think Tuesday poses the chance of being a more unsettled day. Not huge amounts of cloud, but just annoying, uh, sorry, not huge amounts of rainfall, just annoying quantities. Now, that poses the big problem because it's what happens and it's the upper atmosphere that's dictating what happens through next week. This is the chart for uh, 23rd. So this is for Sunday, midday, midnight uh, Sunday. And this is from the ECMWF. And you see here trough in the Western Atlantic, Ridge, Mid-Atlantic, look, trough across Europe. Now, 
if we just knock it on a couple of days this is uh, from uh, midnight Monday uh, into Tuesday and what we've got here is this is our trough that we've just seen across the UK look you notice how the, the neck of that trough look is getting choked off as the warmer air comes through and as the trough sinks south then we've got another trough through the UK another one out there out in the Atlantic what's interesting is this trough here gets into this trough here and the effect of it is to elongate the trough itself so it gives it another pump of cold air it elongates the trough and makes it the conditions more unsettled and cool into uh, into next week and then by next Thursday look it, it's got choked off again and the trough itself is then a cold pool down here across uh, the central Mediterranean with a ridge building back into the UK but yet another trough here in the Atlantic which then eases itself into the main trough down here through next Friday and uh, we see the jet re-established up here up towards the north but look high pressure extending uh, from Scandinavia joining up with a high over the Azores and extending through Scotland, Ireland and northern parts of England and then by uh, Saturday the 29th the high is still through the country but there's that cold look down towards the south but the ECMWF clearing that feature away heading into uh, Sunday the 30th and uh, of course this is the day the clocks so go forward actually isn't it uh, and we get high pressure off towards the east another area of building high pressure off towards the uh, western Atlantic there but look another one of these troughs kind of intersecting through trying to get in that will swing eastwards again and what I think they'll do is they'll just chip away at this high over the western parts of Europe although what we need to watch for is that trough getting into that trough and then forming a pattern as this ridge comes east something like that across Western Europe if that did take shape in the early part of April uh, it's basically watch out because that would be an unsettled cool start to April so um, I think the message from today's forecast is it's pretty hard to pin down just at the moment and get any detail in we can see the overall pattern as to what might happen particularly into next week the difficulty really is deciding on what the detail is underneath those troughs exactly where they are before we can decide how wet and how cool we're going to be uh, so uh, what I'm going to do is give you more information on that uh, tomorrow um, so I'll leave you with that for now but uh, don't forget the Twitter chat so you need to follow the hashtag cloud ID and uh, you can follow us uh, at any time at WX Web. So that Twitter chat uh, on the clouds, identifying the clouds, we'll have some fun with clouds as well, uh, is on Friday between 12 and 2 p.m. So once again, thanks for watching. Remember, weatherweb.net is kept free of charge by you. Keep on coming back and using the site. Telling your friends about the site, getting them to use them, it means we can put more adverts in front of you, which is what keeps us free of charge. So once again, thanks for watching and whatever you're doing, keep the sun shining and uh, look forward to talking to you on Twitter on Friday. Bye for now.